What's going on YouTube? It's me, for sure you, back in here for another video. Today I have Osmos. Another thing I get pretty uh, often on the uh, on the channel. But you know, I love me some Osmos. And everything else is closing because it's Sunday and Osmos, for some reason, is still open. Even though they like to close early too, so. So for those of you who don't know, I get a chicken on the sticks, medium, medium sauce. But I also get extra hot sauce on the side here because you know I need that extra hot sauce and I feel like the way they spread the hot sauce isn't like efficient it's kind of weird I don't like it too much so I was like let me they also put a lot of air into the hot sauce so when I open it, it like squirts everywhere yes sir so today what we're gonna talk about on the channel in this video is Ant-Man. I finally went and saw it. So I actually saw two movies. I saw Ant-Man. Ooh. I think I put too much hot sauce in that. Woo. I've seen Ant-Man and I've seen Creed. I'm gonna do a video for them each, but you know. One at a time, one at a time. I want to start with Ant Man just because I feel like Ant Man, maybe not so much anymore, but there's a lot of talk of the movie because it's uh, apparently a lot of people are saying it's bad. Now it's not me, that's a lot of people. I went and saw the movie expecting it to be a solid 6 out of 10. And you know what? It was a 6 out of 10. And I don't know what it is about Phase 4 movies. A lot of them are so boring. And I don't understand why. Like, okay, well, you know what? I think I do understand why. And right now, Disney's kind of focusing on they're focused on doing quantity over quality and it's very much reflecting in the movies themselves because I remember when a Marvel movie came out everyone was super excited They're like oh my god the next Marvel movie and for the most part most of them are really good but now whenever people hear about a Marvel movie they're like okay it's, I want to go see it but it's like it's usually not really amazing and Ant-Man was kind of like that it was kind of boring I mean, it wasn't too bad. It was funny at times. But it's not like the funniness was incredible. Nothing to be like, oh man, it's one of the funniest movies of the year type thing. And I don't know what it is about these movies with these like villains and stuff like that. Saying they did so many crazy things, so many strong things, and then getting slapped. So... Spoiler alert, they released Kang and everything, and then Kang's just talking about how, oh, which Avenger are you, right, when, like, they're trapped, and he's like, oh, I've killed so many of them in so many different timelines, okay. If you kill Thor, who's, like, one of the strongest people in the MCU, you know, in terms of the movies, how'd you lose to Ant-Man and a bunch of ants? Like how? I know it's a movie, and that's movie stuff for you, but still. And then the movie did two things that I hate so much. So one, when the kid does like a motivational speech, and then it hypes everyone up, and they're like, yeah, let's fight, let's do it. I hate it. It's so cringe. I hate it. I hate like younger people acting and doing stuff like that. It's so cringe. Oh my god, I hate it. Another thing I hate in these like movies with fighting and it's very specific, so I understand people are just like, what are you talking about? But for me, I hate when say the good guys, for example, are walking with like two guards and then they're walking, 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 opportunity comes and they beat up the two guards. It happens so often in Ant-Man, it's actually so annoying. So I'm like, why does this keep happening? Why do you keep doing this type of scenes? 
something about that makes me cringe too, and I don't know what it is. But it's just like, why do you keep doing that? It wasn't as funny as the previous Ant-Man's. The CGI wasn't that great. And I feel like the movie could have done a better job executing certain things. And it's just like... Overall, the movie didn't really pique my interest too much. I don't know what could have made it better. Maybe not making the movie. <laughs> or just by putting more time into it. They put more time into dialogue, fleshing out the characters... Like, and the acting wasn't that great in the movie. Maybe I blame the script for that. It's like, at the very beginning of the movie, when they get sucked into the quantum realm, the mom is like, oh my god, stop. I should have told you. If you know you released or trapped a being in there who could possibly get out and destroy timelines, why would you not tell people that? Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't tell people that. Like, it actually does nothing to, like, keep it a secret. There's no benefit to keeping it a secret. Like, if they didn't keep it, a, if, if she didn't keep it a secret, then they wouldn't have went into the quantum realm, and all this whole movie wouldn't have happened. That's something that annoys me about the movie. It's just, like, why do they not, like, when a problem arises, why do they not be like, oh, this problem happened because of this reason? Her lying, or her not telling the truth would be the reason, but why did she lie? Like, what was a good reason for her lying? I need, like, a reason for her to have lied, and that's the only option she had. But no, she just lied for fun. Like, I don't, like... <laughs> she lied because she's ashamed that she released him. His character just seems so weak. He gets slapped by ants. And then they start boxing at the end. Jonathan Majors was in Creed. Man should not be losing to, like, 80-year-old Paul Rudd or 50, 40, however this man is. Overall, the movie's like a 6 out of 10. At least that's what I personally give it. I definitely wouldn't go watch it again. And if someone's like, oh, I really want to go see Ant-Man, should I go see it? I'd probably be like, yeah, go see it. Like, it contributes to the continuity of the movie or of the, of the series. And I think it's better than Thor Love and Thunder. Thor Love and Thunder was boring to me. And it's just like, ugh, I don't know. I think Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be good, because that at least has James Gunn in it, and I hope, I hope Deadpool 3 is really good, because I, I know Logan's supposed to be in that. I really hope that's really good too, so, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I, just talked about, I hate big chunks of uh, like chicken like this. I'm kind of just eating around it. Alright, that was Osmo. It was just regular old Osmo. I gave it like a 7 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. Same thing I always give it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too amazing, but, you know, it holds you down and it's pretty good. It's pretty consistent. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below of anything you want me to talk about, anything you want me to try. I'm down to try it. Check out the suggested videos in the side and check out Osmos and check out Ant-Man. I mean, like I said, it's not a waste of money. It's not anything incredible, but I feel like it's good to watch it if you're really invested into the MCU, you know? Uh, but yeah, this is Osmos, first year review. Peace.